Welcome everybody to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Cow's Crazy, and we are just outside Emerald Ranch. We have been here before to pick up some money. I got a dead animal on the back of my horse. Yep. I was gonna sell it, and then I realized I'm nowhere near Valentine. When I killed it, captured it. So I'm just like, ah, just leave it on the back of my horse. We'll come into the ranch, and we'll do our quest with Hosea. Good morning. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody de Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> cousin. By marriage. <laughs> so it's not blood. That's what he's trying to stress here. It's not blood relation. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. Mm. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Well, I have been gallivanting, that's for sure. You played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. Hey, wait for me! You're right, we're not robbing a bank. Wow, we got to stick together. Anyway, you say it. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can steal a stagecoach. Oh, how are you feeling about things now? What things? This place, the gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that. Especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Hmm. Maybe they do say the same about me. But I definitely wish that Micah would cut and run. Anyways, we've got our little spot over here. The Carmody Dell. See the house, though. Uh, 
That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Oh Let's yeah, see what okay. We're with. Come on. Gotta scope out that comedy dell. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. How are we gonna do Let's this? Take a quick look at the place. Take out your binoculars. Uh, where are my? Oh, <laughs> get those bionics. Yes. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over. Distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? We can do it now. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. I like it when he puts on a little show. Don't follow me. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak in. Tanya, Hosea, and Arthur working together. They just. They really get along, and it's just. It's some really good shit. <laughs> it's gonna be some fun times ahead, just hanging out with Hosea. Hosea's a fun guy. I, too, could be a fun guy. So the goal is to get 45 sure bucks worth of get items down, here. Get them down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something? Free. Spinal. <laughs> Spinal alignment. Spinal alignment. Ooh, Lord, gold pocket watch. We're off to a good start. Ten bucks. Switch the medicine cabinet. Some snake oil. Up to thirteen fifty. Is this a chest I can open? Oh, it is. Money clip, platinum band. Excellent. We're up to thirty-two fifty already, and we've only searched the bedroom. As long as Hosea keeps him busy. to have a pearl necklace worth the 46 bucks of stuff worth already we'll even take the food apples carrots whatever they got man Kentucky bourbon can I not take the tuck Kentucky bourbon so it's a chimney? Didn't find anything in there. Oh, I found $150 in the chimney! Doesn't look like I can take the Kentucky bourbon for some reason. Maybe I'm full on Kentucky bourbon. Upstairs bedroom. 
That was just the kids' room, too. This is clearly the master. Coin purse. All we needed was 45 bucks to complete the mission, but... <laughs> what? I, I'm kind of poor. I could use the money, so... And the, opening this fence will be really good, because this is where you can sell all the jewelry you get, belt buckles off of guys, all sorts of stuff. Can make some good money this way. Search those drawers. Yes, platinum pocket watch. That was really my phone goes off. Fun. Of course it does. Why wouldn't yeah. it? I don't know who's more of a fool. Me or him. How's your back feel? Uh oh. Worse, I think. Uh oh. They're inside the house. This is not good. They're inside the house. Uh oh, I took way too long. This is not good. This is not good. Um. This is not good. They are inside the house. Well, I better get my rope ready. I was told not to kill anyone. And I might want to put my mask on. Get my mask ready. Get my rope ready. Shit. What the hell? What the hell are you doing on our property? <laughs> we'll just chase him down now. Shit. Luckily, we can take a lot of. Well, we took him one too many gun bullets. <laughs> I was trying to tackle him. <laughs> okay. Okay, we try from the checkpoint. I don't know where the checkpoint is. Oh, man. I hope, hopefully I don't lose all that money I collected. <clears throat> I collected a lot of money there. Wait until I have <gasps> no way! The checkpoint's all the way back here. Do you want, I'm going to collect all that money again. Now that I know exactly where it is, especially the big money in the in the chimney, and I'm gonna try to get out of the house quicker this time, um, and I'll meet you outside. Moo. You like dancing? No, I've never been a dancing man. No. That, that explains everything. <sighs> that better just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit better. <laughs> This session has been Moo okay, I'm back. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next week. Goodbye, gentlemen. Jose is playing, uh, chiropractor out front there giving him a little back rub <laughs> he says he'll be back next week I got out of the house this time before he finished his little song and dance but now I've got to get into the barn without anybody noticing hopefully they're inside the house now Before they realize they've been robbed of two hundred and twenty-five dollars in cash and prizes. <laughs> I actually had another failed situation here. Oh, Jose, I must have just went in. Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get on, dear boy. Oh, I'll get on. I'm gonna make a break for it here. Turn the stagecoach to Emerald Ranch. Here we go. They have no idea what just hit them. We need to get out of here.
Oh, we're getting out of here. Yeah, yeah. Nice stagecoach, too. So, you'll be able to, um... I'm trying to be more careful. I'm sorry, I, I did leave a dresser open. Few, I would say a couple hundred. No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Slow it down a bit. Slow it down, but we're almost there. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Why aren't we on the damn road? Okay, here we are. Just pull, pull this thing right in, the in into the barn there. Yes. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Nice people. Quickly. By marriage, uh, of course. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. <laughs> find any other coaches that need selling I'll see what I can offer you for them but discreet you know of course goodbye gentlemen I'm heading back to camp I think you coming yeah cool. sure I'll accept we can bring this piece of meat back to camp I think I'll give it to the cook you know, it's probably not worth much, but it's a good deed. You know, it's a good deed. Sometimes it's a good thing to do a good deed for your camp, your fellow campers. I don't know how much I edited out of that because I did have a failed recording. Well, like, the boy came back inside again, or he saw me going into the house and. All hell broke loose, and Jose had to shoot them, and oh man, it was not good. So I had to restart. But we made it back to camp. Isn't that just great? So let's go over to the cook. Let's see if they, Mr. Cookery, will accept my donation. Good morning. Let's donate. Really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. Um, that's what I'm about to donate. It's worth nothing. Value nothing. But look at all this stuff I got. This I can take back to the vendor and sell them. Good job, Mr. So Morgan. that's always good. How are you? Um. Mr. Morgan's doing great. How you doing? Good brother. How are you feeling? Much better. I don't know who the hell's singing. Seems Maybe that's Dutch's record, record player? Man. Some horrible music. You always do. How you feeling? But we're gonna get back out on my horse here. There's a little place nearby. Can I see it on my map? I want to go and check out... Oh. Didn't stay on the map. It didn't stay on the map. Hmm. Well, let's go check it out anyways. I'm pretty sure it's out there. There's a side quest or two I would like to at least get started. It's one of these long-term things. I don't even know if I'm going to finish it. But I'm just going to show you of its existence. I'm pretty sure it's out here. I feel like we passed it even before and I've kind of ignored it along the way. I'm going to follow the tracks in. 
think if I follow the tracks in, we'll we'll get a get a little bit of a hint of it. Maybe not. There is another one out here. There's a bunch of these uh, long-term side quests we can pick up right here. This one back here at Flatneck Station, where the poker was being played. There's gonna be a guy outside. Might have even seen me pick up one of these while we were robbing the place. It's a cigarette card. Do you smoke, sir? This guy is looking for the collectibles. Sure, but perhaps not as much as you. Oh, no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? No, 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 no nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got me? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Ram. At your service. I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. So this is a quest I'm probably not going to complete, but it's something I feel like I should tell you exists. Um, as you're going around the world, you can collect these cigarette cards, and if you complete a set, you can actually mail it to this guy. He just gave a, a nice mailing address. And um, you'll receive money in return. So that's not exactly the quest I was looking for, but it is what it is. They think there's another long-term quest out here. Well, it doesn't have to be long-term. I can actually probably solve it pretty damn quickly. Because I kind of know the answer already. But out here... Let's go talk with a guy that's out here, out here on the ridge of the hill. Out here on the mountainside. Oh, the mountainside. Just don't understand Can't go to Mexico all. in this game, which is sad, but we are close to Mexico. And there's a nice Mexico in. Mexico in. Are you from Mexico? Nice senior. Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, 
Uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> Ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Hmm. Ten dollars, huh? Oh, we could rob him. Well, but ten we're gonna try to be a nice guy. We'll give him the ten bucks. A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. I'm trying to be a nice guy, get my honor going, you know, all that stuff. So that's the first part of the map. And, um, we can use that to get the next part of the map. Why is there a stagecoach here? Um. Why is there an abandoned stagecoach here? It's clearly not his. He's going that way. That's my horse. Where did this stagecoach come from? Um. Free stagecoach? Free stagecoach? Free stagecoach? Nice. I'm going to take this over to Emerald Ranch and sell it. Get me some more money. So I might show off, like, me finding very quick clips cut. I'm not going to take you from place to place, but I might do the entire treasure map. And I'll just go from one place to the other and show you where they are. Because I really could use the money. And, um, well, yeah. It, it is gold. And it is in them that are hills. But, uh, we'll see about that. I'll, I'll decide if I'm gonna do that now. I can do it later. I can, I can do it at any time. At any time. So, yeah. Until then, everybody. Until next time. When I'll probably just do another quest. Um, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. I probably shouldn't be driving a stagecoach over this weird, rickety train bridge. Oh my god, what the hell am I doing? And, of course... Ooh.